Okay, hello and welcome, Bridge Fundamentals. I'm going to play a couple of hands of bridge online, comment about what I'm doing strictly at the fundamental level. If you're just learning or just trying to get a little better understanding of what's going around, on around the table, this may be helpful for you. If you're at that level, this is a great book to read. Now it starts out how to deal four hands, but by the time it's done, it has covered bridge fundamentals very well. Uh, I'm going to be using the standard American yellow card system, or sometimes called SACI, a set of conventions commonly used in North America and elsewhere. Uh, if you're at the uh, beginner level, definitely get a copy of this card and figure out what these conventions and statements mean. My very, very quick bridge lesson points ranges. So what is your bidding telling your partner about how many points you have? Plus what is your partner's bidding telling you about how many points they have? All right, find out what your partner's points range is, add your points together, adjust for shape as necessary. And if you have enough points for game, get in there and bid it. Otherwise, get in there and compete. Let's jump on into a table, see what we see. Uh, we are really kind of looking for standard American yellow card. Uh, and you'll typically find that uh, whatever this is about, but typically he'll, uh, the Canadians will understand uh, standard American yellow card. So I've got 9, 10, 16 high card points. And a balanced hand, the doubleton queen is a little weak, uh, but the one no trump is more descriptive than worrying too much about those hearts. So what one no trump tells partners, I have 15 to 17 high card points. I have no more than a single doubleton, at least at the fundamental level. So partner is using the stamen convention you'll find this in here somewhere and it's asking do i have any four card majors and i do i have a four card spade suit so i bid my four card spade suit partner finds that is a fit and that it, with me having at least 15 high card points then we have enough for game. Look at partners got two five card majors. How interesting. So uh, this is quite trumpable. And it looks like we just totally missed slam here. I know, right? Yeah, sorry is right. I mean, my goodness. So this was this is a total miss. All right, because every trick's a winner, pretty much. I mean, we have a one heart question there. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So partner just brain quote brain farted. Uh, and we don't even have a one heart uh, question because we'll be able to trump that last heart. So we'll play this out. And look at there. And we're, this is just too obvious and grueling, so we're going to claim the rest of these tricks. So, right, so partner really dropped the ball. Partner knows I had at least 15 high card points. Partner has 15 high card points and a, and a void. We've got 30 high card points total plus three in distribution. If we find a void, if we find a fit, four spades was utterly ridiculous, right? 
So we're going to get lousy imps for this as all the other tables. Uh, most of the other tables find slam. And I cannot see why anybody wouldn't. We'll have a, come back and have a look at that. One spade. Uh, pass, pass, pass to me. I do not have a particularly strong hand, but I can't really lead this in one spade. All right, Mickey Mantle here. Love defense, 15 to 17, 19 to 21. So what do we have, really have here? Six, seven, eight. We have favorable vulnerability, but we have five, six, seven losers. So yeah, we're not gonna get too carried away with those clubs. And look at there, there's four clubs in the east anyway. So that sometimes is just not our bid to make. Now this eight is the cheapest way to win the trick, but we want partner to know that we have high cards. So we're going to go ahead and play that king. And let's refresh. There we go. So, yep, yep. Other tables are fine. There we go. And somebody even found and bid those seven spades. Oh, how wonderful. Well, let's come back to that and see how they did it. So partner took that with the ace. I played the nine. I'm going to play the eight, right? I played high, low. Maybe partner picks up on that. I don't know. Uh, but I probably probably just told declare more information than my partner. <laughs> than I told my partner. Oh, here we go. Another heart. Yep. There you go. Maybe partner was paying attention. There it is. Look at there. Okay, we made that jack good. Um, so the king, and yep, that's it. West had a singleton ace of clubs. There you go. There, we're having fun now playing bridge. So partner did pick up on that defensive signal. So I played the high-low of hearts. I played the nine and eight. And that's an indication. I played the higher one first and the lower one second. That's an indication that I only have two of them. Partner picked up on that. What allowed me to cash in that jack of diamonds as a rough. And I don't think we're going to win anymore here. I haven't, I've been talking instead of counting Trump. I don't know if West has diamonds left. Probably. Yes, there we go. All right, so two diamonds bid and made. All right, uh, partner not, uh, West not, it's a nice bid. West not getting support for the um, spades. Switched over to the four card suit. And where are we? What's going on here? Yeah, switched over to the four card suit. East had more diamonds than spades, so left it in diamonds. They were able to make that two diamond bid. Speaking of diamonds, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to indicate. Well, so hopefully this indicates to partner that we're weak hand with long diamonds. We'll see. Typically that jump, like a jump response in a minor is showing a long minor with a fairly, with not a strong hand. It's not showing opening points. Right, if I had opening points, I would not take away the bidding space. Right? I would not be jumping. I would just respond with a new suit, two diamonds. Partner knows i am got a new suit. Partner knows they have to bid. I've jumped here, right? I've jumped, and so this is a special sort of meaning, and partner's picking up on this, right? And you've got long diamonds. You want to take away the opponent's bidding space and play our 
and let me play in diamonds. And this is pretty good. So partner didn't try to go to game. Got three losers here, it looks like. Uh, two losers, I guess. I think I got a little lucky here. So I actually kind of, well, three losers then. All right. If they play it right. And it looks like they didn't play it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more diamond out there. And uh, I can claim this. All right? Because I've got one, two, three winners up here. So, one, and that covers one, two, three here. Yep. And East needed to lead back a club. So foolish uh, play by East there. Throwing diamonds out. Why? Why are you helping me draw Trump? Set up my hand. No sense in that. All right. So we'll come back to that. Well, I've got a nice hand. 10, 18 high card points. And two suits diamonds and hearts so let's open with our diamonds a six card diamond suit now this hand is a is what's is, can be bid as what's called a reverse a reverse is not a fundamental bid all right you won't find a reverse up here a lot of people will recognize it especially if they're better players and this looks like a pretty good player knows two over one so on and so forth um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a reverse. The reverse is that I'm bidding my minor first, and then I'm bidding my major. All right. So we'll see if it if I can do that, if it makes sense to do that. All right. And let's see what Wes is doing over here, and a pass. And so one spade. Right now, this is a reverse. All right, I don't need to jump there. I don't think I need to jump there. Okay, and four hearts it is. So, hmm, all right. Well, we're going to trust maybe partner has five, four in the majors. Five spades and four hearts. I wouldn't doubt it. I've got all those diamonds. I don't have any spades. They have to be somewhere. So this is, again, strong. And partner may have picked up on the fact that it's strong. Yeah, partner's got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, actually. Partner didn't need to pick up on the fact that it was strong. And partner does have 5, 4 in the majors. Uh, we'll go ahead. Take that trick. Uh, throw one a little club away, and uh, let's try to finesse the king of hearts. And that finesse fails. We may get a club lead this time, yes. And this, in East, if, if East has the ace, I'm sure that ace will come out. Well, should come out. East may overthink it here. Mm hmm. Thinking too much. It's not always a good thing in bridge. And there we go. So I can claim here, but it may be a little rough on the opponents. Right. To do so. We'll come, we'll come over here just to be nice. 
and come back to hand. And there we have a slam not bit of made. Well, so I don't think partner really recognized how strong my hand was. I don't know if I did the reverse incorrectly or not. This is not, uh, reverse again is not a fundamental bid. Um, I might have done a jump shift. I might have done a three heart bid, which might have made more sense to partner. Uh, reverses aren't always recognized, right? Well, we're, we're not going to worry about that right now. So at a fundamental level, I think I should have done a three heart bid. That would have been a jump, right? And that would have definitely showed a lot of points to partner. So my bad. And I think if we lose imps here, if we find other tables making six hearts, or maybe six hearts was not actually makeable. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Well, one heart, but look at all of our hearts. Well, we're going to pass. We don't have anything to say about that. Hopefully, they'll end up in hearts, but clearly not. Looks like they're going to make a one-note trump. All right, not even. Two diamonds. So East does not have a balanced hand. East has some void somewhere. So hearts and diamonds. West has clubs and diamonds. And does not have four uh, spades. Or they would have bid the spades over the hearts. And East has a strong hand. So, okay, that's interesting. So, yeah, yeah, you should, well, that is a fairly strong hand. What is that? Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. Uh, let's do the 10 because we want to, uh, we've got the jack over here. So there's no sense in playing the queen when the 10 will cover. And we'll leave the queen to cover the jack. The 10 will cover the play. The queen, we can leave the queen to cover the jack. All right. Three no chump. They do have some trouble in hearts with me, but they have a lot of diamonds and presumably clubs between them. Looks like partner has the spades since partner or north made an opening lead of spades here. Let's refresh that one. Mind. So here our imps are dropping over here. We're still in good shape, which says that, um, yeah, somebody did try for those six hearts. And double dummy shows it going down one. So it looks like we might have actually done pretty well there. Okay. No worries. Uh, I'm not surprised that uh, people went for six uh, hearts there. You know, sometimes you go for slam even though it's not a perfect position, not a perfect situation. All right. What do we got here? We're leading some of these spades to be covered. We've got hearts to spare. Seven, so they can at least make two more hearts. Eight, nine. Uh, could be partner led away from an ace of spades. Don't know. Yep. We're going to assume partner has some spades left, as well as clearly some clubs to be played. Right, since partner's opening lead was away from four, away from three spades. Uh, yeah, terrible lead, terrible lead. I don't know why they partner didn't lead away from lead those clubs. That's definitely what should have been done there. Uh, that's four hands. Uh, we did well. They got a lot of imps for that. Uh, this is a good hand. I mean, I've got a lot of points, so let's play the round one more time. 
So this looks like partner has played a lot, but um, maybe, you know, is, and is a good player, good intermediate player, just like their profile says. Uh, I've got 10, 18 high card points, and I've got three cards in at least every other suit. So we'll be doing a takeout double. All right. Take out double demands is is a double after your opponent opens. It demands that your partner bid. It, it promises your partner at least three cards in every other suit. Mind you, partner passed the first time around. Even if partner didn't pass the first time around, partner's response does not tell us anything about their points level. Right? We force them to bid. So, but I've got, again, a Whopper. I've got 18, but I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to bid high, right? I'm just, I'll support my partner's doubles. I don't have uh, diamonds. I don't have four of them, but I do have a very strong hand. Partner is going for it. Partner has a lot of diamonds. Okay, go for it, partner. I don't know what um, possesses partner to do this. Well, let's let them have some fun. Nothing wrong with having a little fun in bridge, huh? I mean, you know, I guess the fact that I bid again is, t is telling partner I have a pretty good hand. Yeah, partner has a lousy hand, but... Um, but... We'll see. Yeah. So I don't know what partner is up to with that five diamond bid. I don't see there was any need for that. We should have been just fine in three diamonds. All right, it looks like we're probably going to make about three diamonds here. So that's that was just nonsense. All right, Jack of Clubs came out. Good indication West has no more clubs. So now's a good time to pull those trump. And let's watch this hand play out. So like I said, um, I think we have a club loser, a heart loser. We may be able to cover them up oh, with some spades. Is the queen? No, the queen's not out there. Okay. All right, yeah. Right, but we can't get to that king. We can't get to that ace. All right, king's gonna <coughs> king's gonna be covered with the ace of clubs, right? No, what am I missing here? Wow. Well, I I I missed something. I'll have to go back and look at that. Claim rejected. Well, if you say so. Did uh, partner not pull all the diamonds? I think they did. Somebody's just upset. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Ugh. Now these guys are just being silly. Egos. Let's see if we see the Ace of Clubs come out. There's the 10. And what do we have now? And no, Ace of Hearts. Okay. All right. So I missed the Ace of Clubs somewhere. And it came out earlier. I don't know. I wasn't watching, I guess. Alrighty. Thanks, got to go. Uh, let's go back. I mean, we got a lot of imps for that. 
Let's look at this double dummy. The double dummy says we should make it. Okay. Well, I, I, yeah, I am surprised. Partner must have played that very well when I was not watching. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back and review. One, two, three, four, five hands. Two diamonds. I don't think there's much to be said about that. Uh, I talked about it earlier. West uh, bid their five card major when that wasn't supported and was overcalled. West stayed competitive, especially with this strong hand, 17 high card points. Um, let's see if I can make this a little bigger for you. Not really. Anyway, uh, and bid the two diamonds, right? When somebody does that to you, right, you are, you, your response has to either be pass that, either be to pass that second bid or go back to the original bid, depending on which you have more of. And if you have the same amount, you go back to the original bid. So if you, if East had two spades and two diamonds, East would have needed to go back to two spades after this two diamond bid. Anyway, uh, they made it and it worked out well. Uh, three diamonds. So this again, uh, this is where I bid, I jumped in the minor as a response and bid long diamonds. Partner let it go and uh, nobody else played that board. Um, and I don't know, let's see here, am I, am I too strong to bid three diamonds? Eh, 10, 14, no, I just think uh, we just, it just worked out well. Uh, here we did four hearts. Uh, this was, I think, a bit of a surprise. Let's see. So, and other people tried and to get into those six hearts, but six hearts wasn't quite there. Uh, let's see what we have here. One diamond open by me, right? Six of those diamonds. Here I was talking about a reverse. Well, this is this is bridge fundamentals, and a reverse is not fundamental. So I think a jump shift would have been better here, right? A jump shift uh, tells partner 18 or 19 points, as opposed to a simple jump. So a jump shift is this range. A simple jump is this range. Um, did I have a strong enough hand for a jump shift? Uh, what I had 10, yeah, I had 18. So three hearts really was be a, a much better bid here. And I think you're gonna find uh, a lot of people did the same thing as us, which is interesting. Uh, a lot of people were seeing the spades went right up to no trump. Um, Here's a rebid of those diamonds, and that is a jump. Uh, I don't think that describes the hand well enough. So, but it worked out pretty well. Uh, one diamond, one spade, two diamonds, two hearts, three hearts. I think this is interesting. There's a lot of alerting going on here. All right, so maybe somebody playing with the robot or something. Let's see what these guys are doing. So here, four hearts, four, no trump. So yeah, so having 18 or 19, they ended up in um, six hearts, but failed to make the contract. So I think, um, yeah, 18 or 19, partner here is showing, right, opening points. So, in other words, north is showing opening points, and south is adding up to 30, and total points at least, right? 18 plus 12, yeah, and this turns out to be 11, 12, 13 in hearts. Not bad. 18, 19, 20, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a darn good bid, six hearts, even though it doesn't make, right? Uh, look how many people made it anyway, even though they didn't bid it. Uh, look how many people defended it well, and uh, especially the one person that did bid those six hearts. So right on the borderline, right on the borderline of uh, being able to make that six hearts. 
I think if that person that bid six hearts had made it, everybody else would have got a pretty lousy score. Um, I prefer, again, at the fundamental level, I think a jump shift here a to uh, three hearts would have been the better bid. All right, three no trump in the west. This was a lot of bidding. Uh, one club in the east. So we've only got ten uh, high card points. Very weak open. Very interesting. Um, one heart here. So... Uh, 10, 12, 16, all right, okay, one heart, one no trump in the west, all right, so, um, yeah, trying to, trying to be quiet, two diamonds, three diamonds, you know, okay, all right, got enough to bid, especially if I've got a singleton heart, and east has hearts, right, so that, that reevaluates the hand to, uh, 10 high card points plus two distribution points, right? Two shape points. So 12. 12. Um, supporting the diamonds, inviting partner to keep bidding. Partners, yeah, like, oh, yeah. All right, well, I've got 16. If you want me to keep bidding, three no Trump makes sense. I kind of advanced, kind of advanced, but they were really well rewarded for that and so as were everybody else that made uh three no trump was three no trump makeable three no trump was makeable but it was a difficult hand to play all right as as evidenced by the fact that a couple of people went down and our last hand five diamonds well i was B rating partner for bidding this, yeah? Hmm. Partner's got six of those diamonds. So oh, what are we doing here? East opens a heart. I double, right? Uh, and partner bids those long diamonds. East rebids those hearts. And uh, West is silent. So West does not have a lot of points. So East has the points. I say, yeah, you know, I've got diamonds too. East has the points. South has the points because I'm doubling and supporting the diamonds. Here this, here this three diamonds was accepted. This, this invite to keep bidding. In this prior hand, this invite to keep bidding went to three no trump. Here, partner's got six diamonds. I'm supporting the diamonds and inviting you to keep bidding uh, or being aggressive. Am I right? So let's, 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 this is, this is bridge a little fuzzy. Let me not say I'm inviting, you know, I'm just saying, yeah, there's, there's, it's there. It's there. Uh, I think North is very wisely, very, very good player, very thinking, very carefully. Look, West doesn't have points, right? I've got a few. Obviously the points are here between East and South and jumps on up to those, uh, three diamond that five diamond game double dummy says it should makeable amazingly enough right and um let's watch and so let's 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 do a quick review on this hand have a quick look at this yeah let me do all this and do all this and put myself over there all right and so we end up with a nine of spades and for whatever reason, I guess not leading away from an ace is good. Not leading Trump is good. So high, low on the spades. Yeah. All right. GIB says still makeable no matter what. Uh, partner bids low, the king comes out and wins a trick, which is nice because that sets up all the spades, and partner remembers that. So that's three good spades right there, right? Um, and obviously six good diamonds, that's nine. We need two more. We have one club. We need one of those hearts. Okay. What comes back? A club. Low, the ace, and that king and the queen are set up. 
So there we don't even need a heart. All right, and north is void in hearts. So there's your 11 tricks. Three, six, and two. Five and six is 11. Straight up. All right, as long as this does not get trumped and it doesn't, now partner starts drawing trump. That's um, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more trump. There it goes. And uh, partner might as well just claim at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, how to get to those. How to get to those spades, not any problem at all, right? There's a low spade. Here comes another low spade. Yeah, I'm back over to that king. Cash the last spade. Nothing but trump left. Uh, whoops, no. Uh, previous, we're going to lose a heart there. But that's okay, right? Um, came back to the spade, lost a... No, no, won the trick, right? With a, with a rough. Yeah, duh. And just kept playing those remaining diamonds. I was more, a little more than advanced, right? But, um, you know, counting, what do you have? How, you know, do you have your 11 tricks? And here they played that ace and gave you that 11th trick. You didn't have to worry about uh, what are you going to do about the hearts at all. So, yeah, very nicely done by partner. Anyway, that's it for me for today. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> I I enjoy. Get in there. Get online. Get to your uh, local club. Play some bridge. And uh, if you have any questions about these hands, be sure to bring them up at that bridge club. You know, especially if you have a couple of good players or a club pro, that kind of thing. So anyway, take care. Bye-bye now.